With the holidays right around the corner, you're going to be bringing out your credit card a lot more often, which makes it a great time to answer your questions. Tony DeSanctis here from Bank of Hawaii. Tony, we start with this. It's from Jared who says, is it better to pay off my credit card debt all at once or just pay the minimum amount on my statement? Tony? No, it's a great question. Obviously, you want to try to pay off your balances in full every month. You don't want to pay interest. But especially around the holiday season, a lot of times what you can do is take advantage of promotional rates that are out there. So you get a 0% for four or five months or even longer. Like we have an 18-month zero right now on ours. Take advantage of that during the holidays. But you want to make sure that you don't overuse that and you're responsible with that and, and you're, you're staying within your budget. Um, but you don't have to pay it off immediately, but you definitely want to get it paid off before you start paying any interest. Nobody, not, not a lot of people know what the promotional period is. We're normally talking about a year. Yeah, sometimes it varies from product to product, but typically it's a rate anywhere from you know lower than your regular rate, so anywhere from zero to you know three or four percent, and it generally runs anywhere from six months to eighteen months, and and gives you an opportunity to get something paid off. You know, you can pay off another card, or if you're just going to spend, it gives you a chance to pay it off at a lower rate. Okay, I've got one more question. This one comes from Joanne. She asks, if I close a credit card after six months and then open another with a lower interest rate, will that affect my credit score? What happens to your score if you open or close a couple of credit cards within a year? Yeah, so you want to be really careful about that. And one of the things I recommend is get a card that has the credit score built into it. So a lot of cards like ours have this credit score built in so you can monitor what's going on. But you don't want to be doing a lot of back and forth with credit cards, opening and closing constantly, because that can show up with a lot of um, frequency on your account and it can affect your score. So you're always better off keeping cards that you want to use, using them as long as possible and, and getting a good history with those cards so that reflects positively on the Bureau. Lots to think about. Obviously, we want to keep your questions coming. Put them on our Hawaii News Now Facebook page. For Tony DeSantis, I'm Stephen Wehaw.